Hey everybody, welcome back to Will's Toy Room. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of my more recent pickups, the Marvel What If Zombie Iron Man. Now we take a look at the front of the box again, windowless box. Pretty, well it's a good picture because you know why. Got the What If logo, Hasbro, Marvel Studios, zombie cinematic, you know, MCU Iron Man. Got a couple screenshots from the episode as well as the Watcher. And this picture also is a Build-A-Figure as well, which the other figures in this line, which are part of the Build-A-Figure line, Agent Jimmy Woo, uh, Classic Loki from uh, Loki. I believe the Jimmy Woo is specifically from WandaVision. Uh, Zombie Scarlet Witch from the same episode. Uh, he Who Remains. Loki again, Howard the Duck, and Red Skull. I actually haven't seen Red Skull in person. I've seen pretty much all these figures on store shelves except for Howard and Red Skull. So I'm looking forward to seeing those and maybe even picking up the Red Skull from this series. And then on the back of the box we got a bunch of legal credits and stuff. More action oriented shot of the toy. Okay. Let's crack this open and take a better look at the figure. So what you're going to want to do is get your knife, scissors, what have you. Uh, there's a tape, piece of tape right here. Yeah, just one. Just one piece of tape. A little flap opens up. Like so. Now it comes in this design now. Back of accessories, we'll get to that in a second. Legal stuff. And what the figure comes in. You like Hasbro, save the planet, recycle. Alright, take a look at the accessories first. <clears throat> we have an alternate pair of closed fists, as well as for his open hands we have some repulsor blasts. Plastic could use some bending back in shape, but what you're going to do. And then we have the Iron Man figure himself. Oh, they kind of did that with his hands. Please don't. Ooh, yeah, no. Yeah, out of the package, they have his hands like this, and there's no articulation, it doesn't look like. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Ooh. If you try to bend these into place, they will break off. So don't try to... These are not... His wrists are not articulated. So be careful. I almost... I almost just snapped off the Iron Man's hand. Oh, God. Goodness, thank you, Hasbro. Anyway, let's take a look at the sculpt for the body. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's a lot easier to nail animation, I think, in toys than it is to get real people's faces right. But I gotta say, this one looks pretty good. I like the face sculpt. Um, I feel like the armor could have been a bit more dirty considering it's he's supposed to be a zombie. There is a lot of subtle colors on the chest, but that's that's about it. Like there's one one on the shoulder, one on the left shoulder and on the chest. I feel like they could have done a lot more with this. Um but pretty standard Marvel Legends articulation head Go 360, a little bit put down, 
360 at the shoulders, or not at the shoulders, 360 at the bicep, double elbow pivot, no wrist in and out articulation, but they do go 360. A little bit of an ab, we got a decent ab crunch, Just a little bit of a spread. 360 at the thigh, Ooh, very tight. Uh, double knee pivot, ankle pivot, 360, and a little bit of out. So you can get some good poses. You can get some good poses with this figure. <clears throat> kind of stand them, you know. It is kind of a scary thought to think about Marvel zombies, like, just going off of their powers and stuff like that, or, like, their abilities, like, in the episode, Doctor Strange still could make portals and stuff. That's pretty scary. And like, Iron Man can fly. He could still fly as zombie Iron Man. It's a scary thought. But anyway, here's the repulsor blast inside the hands. Oh, and Scarlet Witch could still use her powers as a zombie, so another frightening thing right there. Take these out. Let's go ahead and pop in. There really should be wrist articulation. That is... Sorry, I... There really should be... like. I almost broke this off. You can see a little bit where it's separating. So you just need to be careful when taking these out of the package. Meanwhile, that's perfect. All right, let's put the closed fists in. So the closed fists have wrist articulation. Why? I mean, it's still putting a little bit of stress on the, the joint, but yeah, they have articulation, but for some reason the open hands don't. And I think that's a bit ridiculous. Like, was Hasbro trying to save a few bucks or something? I don't know. Oh, there we go. We got. Let's. And just for fun, let's put them up with Cap from the same episode. Earlier figure, same episode. And an older one. Older Marvel Zombies will put Magneto up here, too. Makes a good set, you know. Makes a good... I wish they would do more Marvel Zombies, like, revitalize the line a little bit. Because I know in the same wave that they did Magneto, they also did uh, Spider-Man. Um, I think they did... Uh, and he wasn't Colonel, he wasn't Captain America, he was Colonel America, because these are specifically from the Marvel Zombies comic versus the TV show, the episode from Disney+. Plus. So I, I think it'd be cool if they kept going and maybe branched out a little bit more, but like kind of found a happy ground between the comic and the episode. Or maybe even just expand on it further because there was a lot that they kind of just glossed over in this episode. Um, but just going over specifically 
the characters from the Disney Plus episode, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like Captain America looks better. Like, it looks like they just put way more way more effort into designing him versus versus Tony. Like they barely put any paint application on the armor. And I know this is I forget what the exact mark number for this armor is. And I know it's that sleeker, newer armor that let me see the episode took place around the time of ant-man 2 because in that alternate timeline when they went in there to get uh hank pym's wife she had been infected with something and then she brought it out from the quantum realm and that's what caused the virus outbreak within the what if episode so I know this is like the sleeker sort of nano armor, but still, I mean, to have a little bit exposed or maybe a little bit of like weathering or some of the nanos chipped off or something, like it kind of seems like all the attention went to the head and none of the body. And it does make a good pairing, you know, if you want to, pick up the Iron Man and have it, you know, paired along with Captain America so you can do Marvel Zombies Civil War or something like that. That would be an epic fight between two beings that they're no longer just mortals, they're the undead, so they fight more animalistic and they don't pull any of their punches at all, even more so than in the movie, you know, when Cap and Bucky were fighting Tony. If they made a, a zombie Winter Soldier, I might pick that up to make this sort of, yeah, Marvel Zombie Civil War display. So here, let's put them all back for a nifty little group shot. And why not? We'll bring Magneto back in here too. Why not? So that was my review for the Marvel What If Zombie Iron Man by Hasbro. What do you recommend picking it up? Sure. If you like Iron Man, if you want to focus, if you're one of those collectors that focuses on one character, he'll look fine tossed in there with a few other Iron, Iron Men, I should say. If you're a fan of zombies, sure. I just wish they would have gone a, just one or two extra steps at all. That's just my, it's a nitpick in all honesty. It's a fun figure and I'm glad I got it. But again, this compared to this, it's this all day, every day. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Future Will here. Just tried to put this hand back in the Iron Man. And just look at that. That is awful. Hasbro, please try harder. Please.